Durango is a small city. The majority of the industry in Durango works with metals and is related with the majority of the parts of the cars. For this reason, my team and I decided to work and design one machine that works with metal on a specific with tubes. When you arrive to these semi industrial companies and you need, for example, uh, a tubular part of your car, this company pay this object to other, to other uh, country, to other uh, city and this product uh, has a really expensive cost and then you need to wait for a lot of time to, for, to, for to receive your product. For this reason, this machine pretends make this product in the city and generate more profits. The Tubonator 3000 was based in one machine for industrial scale. This machine is more economic and works really, really, really similar than the other one, but has a price more, more, more economic than the uh, industrial machine. This machine was designed in Durango, was created in Durango, and I, we, we, we hope to sell in the majority of the companies with some industrial uh, sectors in Durango. For this reason, I think, we think that this product is the most better option when you need to buy a new machine for improve your quality of your products or if you need to increasing your company. For the creation of this design, we started with simple ideas and taking examples from another vendors, so as not to make the same mistake and thus can generate new ideas, providing a comfortable and effective vendor for the user at a reasonable price, fulfilling our objective, which is to improve the industry in Durango with quality products and affordable prices. That says, our vendor's design is made up of three main parts, the base, the hydraulic arm for bending and the drag and angle press. The base is made with a structural tubular profile or PTR, MIG welding and 3 8 jig placed in the parts most susceptible to fading and malformity. At the same base is the counterweight of the tube. It is designed with 1045 steel temperate at the work area at 50 to 55 HRC or roadwell harness test for high strength steels, which is the material commonly used for the manufacturing. We can see in the following table. The base of the hydraulic bending arm and the bent dies are designed with the same steel to withstand the pressure, hydraulic arm. This has a cili uh, hydraulic cylinder that will be manufactured by yourself. This based on the norm ISO 6022 the climb dies and the bend dies are interchangeable pieces, pieces to adjust to the size of the tube that you want to manufacture. The arm rotates through uh, six uh, spur gears designed within the, uh, the norm anti ACMA 2101D04 gearbox is driven by HP motor at 3550 rpm uh, with a year train with six years with a ratio of 40 to 1 giving us final results of 1.8 rpm and a force of 26.54 kN slightly more than double force than force to bend a 2 inches diameter mill steel rod Finally, the drag and press and angle press. The press moves into axis, providing the desired length and adjusting the angle before each bend. Movements are provided by NEMA 34 motors and to automate the grip of the tube. We designed a tube that fits a 12 volts motor and an encoder to detect 
the pressure exerted when hold the tool. For the manufacture of this machine, a base made with 14 gauge galvanized PTR with a measure of 2x2 two two and 1.80 meters long and profiles cut at 45 degrees respectively. And the base consists of 37 pieces uh, which will be joined uh, with, um, with MIG um, welding. Uh, it is the most uh, convenient for this type of material and for the desired uh, finish. Uh, copper coated spoiler 75 and uh, wire be used. Uh, the remaining parts, as well as the tool uh, holders, motor sensors, and the parts that can be uh, disassembled will be uh, attached to the structure uh, using a screw for the future replacements um, in case of something fails. Uh, the framework um, will be polished to remove. Um, welding results and spray painted uh, for a better finish. Uh, two guides uh, will be placed along with four uh, layer cards that we will move the, the shook part in, in this part race limits uh, will be uh, placed. With the objective of make a bender with a low cost, we decide design and manufacture some pieces by ourselves. One example of this are the cylinders. The hydraulic cylinder is going to be a force of 4 down 2 kN. This force is going to be the necessary to avoid the movement of the tube. Another, another example of this is the room behind the chuck. This cylinder is going to be manufactured by CNC and welding by the MIG welding. In addition to this, the molds to be able to bend the tube will be made by us with a CNC. Thanks to this, we can allow ourselves to use different type of molds in the machine. So, in other words, we can bend of different types of diameters and thickness, going from tubes of between 2.5 to 1 inches diameter and 1 to 0 to 0.25 th in thickness, giving the machine versatility. As mentioned a few moments ago, this machine will be able to handle to between 2.5 to 1 inches of diameter and 1 to 0 down 25 inches of thickness. Furthermore, due to the dimensions of the machine, it will only be able to work with tubes on 1 meter or higher because smaller tubes cannot be bent. That said, this machinery will have a price of $1,100, which is translated to $20,100 of pesos. In this project we are going to use Arduino because it's easy to use and has a low cost and these, these advice have a, lot, a big advantage because have a lot of drivers that is compatible with the NEMA model. Here we can see the consume of the machine. We made a calculate of the machine. It did will have worked five hours per three days, and we will have a consume of 355 kilowatts per hour. 
For restraint the movement of the machine, we are going to use limit switch because it's the form easier to do it. The limit switch is going to cut the energy when the machine is going to collapse, so the machine is going to stop because the the limit switch cut the energy of the machine when collapse. The principal sensor that we all have is encoder. This sensor we are going to help us to control the revolution of the of the AC motor and with this we are going to control the degrees that the tube is going to be twisted. The NEMA motors are going to be controlled by micro step driving. In the machine there are three NEMA motors and everyone is going to have its own driver. These drivers are compatible with Arduino and are very easy to use and there are specific characteristics of this driver. Electric system. We're going to use two types of cables. The first one is the cable AW80. We're going to use this cable to connect the motor of one horse power. This kind of cable supports high voltage. And the second one is the cable AWG84. This cable is used to connect the Arduino, the Proto and the sensors. As you can see in this circuit, we're going to use an actocoupler. This actocoupler protects the motor of one hour's power to a spike's voltage. We're going to use a relay system as a bridge edge. Who are going to protect the cables? Well, we're going to use first one the drag chain. This drag chain is used to protect the movement or protect the cable at the moment that the shock is moving. Then we're going to use protector rails. As you can see the first one is biggest than the second one. Then the first one is used to protect the biggest cable, that is the cable AWE80. And the second one, as you can see, has two pads. This is because we are going to use different colors with the cable AWU34. And we are going to organize all of this at the moment to repair some cable is going to be easier. Control system. As you can see, the first piece of button is using to turn it on or turn it off the machine. The second pair of button is to control if the cylinder open or close. The third one is to control if the shock close and open. Then we have the last pair of button and this is using to the shock goes forward or backward. Then the big red button is using to the emergency stop and the last part is using to control the degrees of the trajectory at the moment to bend in the tube. And that's it for this. My name is Jesus Giovanni Cáceres Favela and I am from Design Team. I am Luis Alfred Medina Galaviz, I am from the Team Designer. I'm Jesusel Ortiz Hernández and, and I am from the Manufacturing Team. I am Teo Ibrahim Safa Gutiérrez from Manufacturing Team. I am Jorge Emiliano Galván Silerio I am, and I am from the team of Automation. My name is Mario Beth Gomez Carrasco. I am part of the Automatization Team.